All right, and let's get into it. We got Booty versus C. Caleb, ladies and gentlemen. Get those faces up there. What are we dealing with? There we go. And despite making a me sword fighter on the on the switch just now, uh, he's opting to start with Pac-Man, which makes enough sense. Booty is well known for playing Cloud and Meta Knight, two characters who aren't really known for their uh, anti-projectile presence. So playing Pac-Man is probably a good idea, since Pac-Man is probably very effective at walling both of these characters out. Do we know how to pick up the bell? He does not. Okay. That's going to be important in this matchup. And he is Dumzo. See, Caleb takes first blood. Something I will say is uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 is actually a really good stage for certain kinds of camping characters, like uh, Snake, DDD, and especially Pac-Man. I see that they didn't strike on the uh, striking screen, which means they must have just agreed to play here. And I'm not sure if that was the right thing to do. Pac-Man does a really good job of camping on this stage. Oh, what a what a good strawberry throw, but no such luck. But unfortunately, Booty takes sort of a weird SD there. Caleb's finally on the board. Very nice. Unfortunately, in spite of getting all... Getting that first kill, he hasn't gotten another hit yet. There we go. What can Booty make of it, though? There's the orange. Good avoidance there. He knew Caleb was going to try to finish it there. In spite of the character matchup, the character and player matchup, Booty has some really good awareness going on right now. He's gonna need it. He's gonna need all those senses if he wants to win this one. Very nice. Calls up the forward air. You know, I respect that. But I'm not sure it's super effective against Pac-Man since the uh, trampoline will be right behind him, ready to save his butt, and the upper takes the game. Caleb on the board 1 Booty's counterpick, and as per usual, he picks Tekken music, because he just can't get enough of that Tekken music. Let's see if the music power-up power is enough to uh, make up the difference, though. Three, two, one, go! The music power-up.
Alright. They're really feeling each other out this time. You can see that Booty's playing a lot more reserved this time. He doesn't want to run into any of those uh, projectiles or that Pac-Man forward air. I think uh, Booty's also trying to suss out the moments where uh, Caleb likes to use his, his grab. Caleb has a good idea of when you're uh, hiding and scared from his uh, potential hitboxes. And seems to know the exact right moments to get grabbing. But I think Booty may have noticed that pattern. And if so, well, that'll be really good for him in the, in the remainder of this game. And possibly Game 3, if that comes up. Wow! What a fade out! That was such a good... That was so good. He faded out because he knew the grab was coming and then just decided to raw forward smash. I wonder if he knew the water would push him back into range like that. Oh. Because if he did, that's like 10,000 IQ right there. Oh! Caleb chose the right option there. There wasn't really much uh, Booty could have done to avoid getting smashed. Reads the ledge roll, too. Booty's got some very strong awareness. I really have to say. Especially in this game right now. Oh, I would have just let the up be a rip, honestly. There's the grab. And, oh, no! No! After all that, he gets gimped by a cherry into a, into a forward air. The booty isn't having it. Let's see if he can keep his composure here. Will he keep his composure and be able to close this out? No contact for the bell. And there's the bell. <laughs> He's gonna need to be careful about bell. Because there it is. Will Booty does Booty lean on shield? What does he do to avoid Bell? Booty chose not to pick it up, I'm surprised. Caleb's getting very aggressive right now. But at the same time, doesn't seem to want to risk a grab right now. Oh my god, that up air would have hit in Smash 4. That up air would have made contact in Smash 4. Uh, a very good set. A little bit of a heartbreaker though, that's for sure. Music? There's the music. Look at this, look at this. Oh, that was so good. That was a regular heartbreaker for Seth, though. I do respect the side B there, though. I feel like just a high recovery right back onto the stage, though, would have sufficed. But that's only speaking in the hindsight. This was so unfortunate. What a heartbreaker. All right, I do want to point out what happened here. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Here it is, here it is. Oh. No! That would have hit in Smash 4. Boom. That was rough. Rough, rough, rough indeed. But either way, a very good set from both players. Good show.